I need to express extreme caution uh, if you're thinking about building an e-skateboard. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm not an expert. Before you do anything regarding e-skateboards or longboards, make sure you do your research. Longboards in general are very dangerous. They have caused brain injury. People who don't know how to ride them have gotten in big accidents. So I highly recommend if you're trying to get into an electric skateboard, maybe start out with practicing a skateboard first. Don't jump automatically on an electric skateboard. Get used to the feel of a skateboard, and then if you plan on doing that, maybe buy one. If you want to do the DIY way, make sure you do your research and read up on it first. I've done a lot of research and a lot of reading up, however, I'm still not an expert, and I don't suggest that you try to do what I do. Okay? With that being said, let me show you something cool. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh... I got the motor for the electric skateboard. I haven't touched it ever since. This right here is my RC controller for my RC drift car. Shabam. This is the electronic speed control. That's the motor that currently is in it. That is the receiver. Let's, let's see if this will work. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll see. Let's try it out. Okay, first things first. Let's open up this motor, see how we mount the motor on it. Handy dandy uh, sushi knife. Yeah, this is definitely a Chinese package box. The reason why I know that is because it is yellow tape most of the time. Anything comes from China, it's this yellow packing tape. I don't know why, it's just what they ship in. Okay, this is the N6065 motor. This is a 270 kV motor, which means that it is good in long speed uh, and, and, and higher speeds. However, the acceleration isn't very strong. We'll see how it works compared to the 170 kV one that I have. Typically you'll see two of these motors on uh, electric skateboard. This one feels pretty beefy though. That's the motor. That's how it looks. N605. Okay. Got all these little parts in it. I believe these are used for uh, airplane motors, things of that sort. Wow, that is, that is something something else. So the motor itself turns. I think that helps with momentum spinning. That's, that's pretty interesting. Three pins here. Uh, one of them is probably <laughs> the power. One of them is probably... Why isn't... There's no color codes on this. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why there's no color code on these. How am I supposed to know which does what? That doesn't make any sense. All right, we'll find out. These are the screws that go into it. This is for mounting, which is... That's pretty good. I was a little worried that I didn't have any mounting screws. That's the drive gear in it. That's going to go for the belt. As well as mounting brackets. And it does. This is the drive gear. It fits right on there. It slides right on. We'll tighten that up later. So the motor's gonna be mounted this way. We'll go ahead and mount it at this side. Hopefully the mounting uh, brackets match up. Okay, so we'll take our drive pulley. It looks like we have uh, three holes to screw in. We have these super mini, ah, where are they? Super mini Allen wrench screws right here. These are gonna go on this little Allen wrench that came with it. I would highly recommend that you put these in a safe place if you don't have everything at once. That way you don't lose any of them, because these are tiny. What these do is they'll tighten in, and then they'll kind of put pressure on the drive shaft itself. It has a good Loctite on there. Wow, these are super tiny. They actually give you a couple extra, which is <laughs> it's pretty smart, because I'm sure that a lot of people lose these. I can't even get the Allen wrench on it to put it on. It's like threading a needle. Probably should have done this on a flat surface. I put it, I, I use this carpet, one, so that I don't damage the desk or table, two, because if something was to bounce around, the carpet would most likely catch it. And uh, I won't lose something and I have to look for it for hours so that I can get this working. Those are all screwed in. You can see it. They're all screwed in right there. And then in the center, you can see inside there's... This is a pretty beast little motor. It's, uh, it's actually pretty strong. Now I'm going to pull the wheel off. May have to get a spacer so that it aligns up with the drive shaft. We'll see how, how that turns out. Get the wheel going on. Aligning that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I got it super tight. I got it right there, really good tightness. Good amount of space in between. So now I'll go ahead and tighten these Allen wrenches up. Now that we know what our uh, tightness is gonna be for this. All right, put the wheel back on now that it's tight. Everything matches up still. Belts and motors on there. Okay, simply for testing, I'm gonna plug everything with the power in and test out the motors. It doesn't tell you which motor, which is what. So I'm a little worried about. Once all the testing and setup is complete on this, I'll be printing my own battery box and ESV, uh, ESC uh, controller box. 
So it's going to look pretty. I'm just using this for testing purposes to see if this works correctly. Now i got to load these batteries in this Nama Jamma. Okay, I have the electronic speed control connected to the motor. I have the receiver and I also have the power. Keep in mind, this is fully test. There's just no actual riding going to happen today. I just want to show you guys the connection. You have your motor, you have your connections to your motor, then you have your electronic speed control, your receiver for the controller, and you have a battery. That is why I think uh, the electronic skateboard is so cool. It's such a simple setup, and you can really do cool things with it. Okay, here we go. I don't even think that's max speed. What has it? <laughs> Ooh, that's strong too. Well, guys, it works. It really works. All right, let me go over the cost of it with you. Twenty bucks for the battery. Uh, these two right here, I already had it from my RC car. Had this with my RC car already as well. The wheels were 20 bucks. The mount kit was uh, 20. The mount kit was 25 bucks. The skateboard was 50 bucks. Uh, definitely under 100 bucks so far for this entire kit. Oh, it's go time! Uh, you can definitely expect some videos on this in the future. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, depending on how good I get it. Super responsive though, check that out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today. I'm going to put this thing away and get ready to 3D print the rest of the parts so we can get this thing rolling.